Hi, I'm Tamara, and today we are going to make the easiest table runner you have ever made. All you need is two pieces of fabric, and you can do this. No batting necessary. As a matter of fact, I did make a version using batting fabric, which is this version here, and it turned out, but what I found using batting fabric is that the corners ended up a little bit more poofy and harder to iron nice and flat. So I highly recommend making this one without batting. Let's jump into the tutorial. For this project, you will need two coordinating fabrics. For your border fabric, it will need to be a half a yard piece of fabric. And then for your middle center piece of fabric, you will only need a quarter of a yard. Trim your middle fabric so that it is nine inches high and then trim your outer border fabric so that it is 18 inches high. We will leave the selvages alone. Give your fabric a quick press before laying your border fabric right side up and then take your middle fabric and lay it right side down on top of that, lining it along the one edge. Make sure that your selvages on one side line up nicely and then just pin all the way along the top. Then you can take it to your sewing machine and sew a quarter inch seam across that pinned edge. And now it's time to do the same thing, lining it up with the opposite edge. Pin all the way across and then you will sew a quarter inch seam across that edge as well. And now it's time to press the seams. If I was not using a white fabric as my border fabric, I would press the center seams out towards the outer edges, but because I am using a white fabric, I'm going to press my seams open so that I can't see the wrong fabric through the white fabric. And now it's time to turn your project right side out. Adjust the fabric so that you have a matching amount of border fabric on both sides of your center fabric. And now it's time to trim away the selvage edges. So just grab your ruler and line up one of the lines along the top edge of your table runner and then you can cut across creating a nice square corner on your table runner and then press those edges nice and flat. Next you'll take your fabric and fold it in half with the backing fabric facing towards itself. Match up your edges, pin across, and then sew a quarter inch seam across both raw edges. Remembering to backstitch when you start and when you stop. Now that these seams have been sewn, clip away both corners, making sure, of course, not to clip over the seam that you've sewn. Then take it to your iron and press these seams open before turning these points right side out. Once you've turned your points right side out, center your point and press your edges so they're nice and crisp. To finish things up, sew a seam across that folded edge and then stitch in the ditch in your three visible seams. But before you do those final seams, this is your opportunity to add some embellishments in those folded corners if you want. You could do lace or ribbon or some cute little pom-pom details and then sew along that seam to secure them in place. And then you would finish up by stitching in the ditch in those visible seams. So how easy was it to make your first table runner? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Or if you want to just drop a line and say hello, I read all of my comments and I love to hear from you guys. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and happy sewing. Bye for now.